I'm Jim Williams with your CBS on the go report An early morning fire injures four firefighters near the Illinois Indiana border. The fire started five this morning in the three story walk up and spread to a second building on South Baltimore near 135th in Hegwish. There are no reports that the people who live there were hurt. A child porn suspect on the run for nearly two years makes an appearance in court in Lake County, Illinois. Our cameras caught up with 34 year old Paul Reisenberg as U.S. Marshals escorted him to jail. In court this weekend, a judge increased his bail to three million dollars, quite a jump from the one hundred and fifty thousand dollars set in October of 2016 when he fled to Estonia. And I'm meteorologist Rob Ellis with a look at your forecast. If you're doing some traveling, a few showers about, especially into the Ohio River Valley, kind of fueled by the heating of the day with the heat and humidity staying in place for much of the deep south. Outside of that, the temperature is expected to stay very summer like over the next several days. But look at the cool down that's on the way for parts of the northern plains. Eventually that will sweep across the Midwest and bring some relief to many locations, including our forecast for Chicago. Upper 80s for a couple of days, but once once we wrap up these showers, take a look at the cool down. Down. Temperatures go back down into the low 80s. The humidity will come down as well, and overnight lows will return to the mid 60s. If you're in Lincoln Park this weekend, you'll see a lot of people chasing these virtual creatures on their smartphones. It's all part of the Pokemon Go Fest. Last year's inaugural event was a disaster, but CBS 2's Erica Sargent reports organizers hoping the second time's the charm. Just beside the squawking birds, a new addition to Diversity Harbor, a tall tower with lots of wires. Here's another one with big circles on top. All the wireless carriers are bringing in special reinforcements. Bill Kilday is with the company that runs Pokemon Go Fest and working hard to prevent a repeat of the 2017 technical glitches. They promised us Wi-Fi towers. They promised us all types of things. and. We come here and we're getting nothing. Pokemon Go Fest in 2017 ended with disappointment, followed by refunds and a class action lawsuit. We certainly learned a lot from last year. Pretty amazing to see. I mean, the passion of the community is always something that energizes us. Despite the heat, a long line forms. Armed with umbrellas and hats and water, they're ready to play and find some of the elusive characters. Luis came all the way from Germany. I'm hoping to catch them and share them with my friends. Meet some people, play some Pokemon. Justin came from Texas. With the sign, he's eager to get some of those rare characters. Uh, these are the Pokemon I want to trade for, and these are the Pokemon I have already. These friends all drove in from Virginia. Got the, I got this hat, hat cheap from Walmart, just kind of wanted to blend in with the locals. Shiny Plus Line mining, a low on Geodude and Diglett, but I, my main reason is for Torkoal. Erica Sargent reporting, in addition to the cell phone boosters on site, the game is being played in a much larger space in over two days instead of one. By spreading out the area and time, the hope is technical glitches will not happen this year. Now to sports, the U.S. Senior Women's Open is underway in Wheaton. British golfers Laura Davies and Trish Johnson recovered from rough, stre rough stretches yesterday. And in basketball, one of Chicago's own is coming home. Jabari Parker and the Bulls have agreed to a two-year deal worth $40 million. For the latest headlines day or night, head to CBSChicago.com. I'm Jim Williams. Have a great day.